So, you can use anything to defend yourself if you're in fear for your life. That's the truth, 100%. That's the law. All right, now back to slashing. Okay, slashers starts right up there. It's all on the shoulder. All you have to do is watch. I'm already inside so deep. Man, there are so many things I can do. You probably stand this close to you. It's just not even funny. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out your eyes. If you can't see me, you're not standing. And you're not chasing me down. And you're not really going to do a whole lot of anything. But I'm going to be gone. Because I still don't want to stand and fight with you. Because you still got the knife. I want to disable you and get away if possible. If they drop the knife, I'm going to kick it so far out of the way. If, I, if I'm so close enough to him right now, I'm going to take the chance with, with how I fight versus how he fights. I'm going to take my chances because I'm a trained professional fighter, so to speak. I've been doing this for 18 years. I'm going to take my chances. That doesn't mean that dude doesn't have another knife in his pocket. I may have just got myself killed. Or that he's not as skilled as me. Exactly. I have no idea. Like I say, self-defense is not about fighting. It's about defending yourself. Okay. So he might run off, he might just run off the ride that night and then he'll start chasing you and just wait till you run out of juice and now you're tired, you can't fight him, and he's got time. Bad idea. There's no really, you know, it's just it's just a... You should be able to run somewhere quick enough yeah. where you can get some help. Now, obviously scenarios are different. Maybe you're out maybe you broke in your ass and you're out in the middle of the country. At which point you get a shot and then you <laughs> You probably got one. So, so we're, we're only going to worry about slashing. All right, so slashing. I like the inside approach. Here and here. It's wrist and elbow again. Okay, because he's a slasher, he's taking wide shots. Now, I'm not going to do this at the very beginning. I'm going to encourage him to stay the slasher. Because I want to see how fast he is. And then I'm going to catch him. Okay? I want, him, I want to... I do not want to change up his tactics. This is one of the few tactics that I'm comfortable assaulting. I, I will go after the dude if I can, if he's a slasher. Because I'm pretty confident that I will stop him. So that's what I want to do. I want to stop him. And I'm going to take this, and because it's already there, well, he's already made me mad, so I'm going to go ahead and just put it in his head. Because he's already made momentum to go back this way. Unless he's, you know, if he's stupid or drunk or whatever, who knows? Slashers are stupid, sorry. Unless, unless he's got some kind of wild swing plan, because I punched him in the face and he's doing this. Mo, you, won't, you hardly won't see anybody but a nine black start doing this. Because it's just too easy to see and walk. All right? So all you need to make sure of is that you're watching the wrist and the elbow. Oops. That hurt me. Okay? That's why we're here practicing with chalk knives and we hope we don't ever get in a situation like this. All right, I'm going to look to hold and control the arm, totally. Now, if I step inside, I might as well just wait to follow up with my elbows. Now, I, I like my head, so I'm going to headbutt. I'm going to straight up put my forehead on most people. If you have a bone condition, the hardest part of bone on your body is right here at the hairline, about an inch to two inches wide. It's right there, right there where your hairline is. Okay, you put that, in the middle of their, you aim for their nose and hit anything on their face. You will, you'll, they'll, they'll fall out. I'm looking for the end of the follow through or the beginning. There's the beginning. I don't want it to come through. There's the end right there. I don't want it to come through. Again, if I can punch the, not, not, I don't want to punch the point of the elbow. I want to punch, the, punch it as it's coming so that I can get behind it. This is going to give me the pressure I need to break something, if I can. It's going to give me a good shot to break. Also, nerves in your hand, when she holds the knife like this, she turns to this. All right? Ready? You will drop the knife, except I was holding on to it for her. All right? It's right there in the bin. All right? If I hit it hard enough, you'll drop it. You'll drop whatever's in your hand, because that's the way the nerves work. I like punching them in the arm if I can get away with it. But if I can't, then I'm not going to mess with it. What's up, Sam? Okay, so uh, slashing is back and forth. I'm looking for the end and the beginning. There's the beginning. Step through. Break it. Break her. Take the knife 
Close to me. 